<laughs> Yo, what's going on? What's, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? What is popping? Welcome to a long, long overdue. We ain't shoot. We ain't did one of these in a minute, bro. Uh, as you know, this is. Bro, I'm talking about like how many years? Eight, eight or nine? <laughs> Wait a minute. Eight, nine years. Golly, been a while. So, if y'all should know, uh, this is 88 Radio slash the show about nothing. Um, shit. Yeah, man, we started this 2000, like, we started like this on a whim. Just two knuckleheads, not knowing too much about shit. <laughs> Literally, two two dudes just kicking it, talking shit. Pretty much. Whatever came on their mind, and just having fun with it. Yeah, man, we was, we was, um, we, yeah, so we started this, like, wow. 2000, shit, I wouldn't even know what music is. So 2014, 15-ish around that time? Going into 2014? No. Yeah, 15. 2015, 16. Yeah, tell me. Because I, when, uh, when I remember when we started, I, I, was living, I was living in my old spot. Yeah. Man, shit, that's how you know we've been around. But yeah, so like going back, yeah. then, so going yeah, back, yeah. but yo, like I say, this is the show about another podcast. We started this while years ago, but um, it started off as an idea. Uh, started off just as an idea, nothing crazy, and uh, we started and <laughs> tanked. You know what I mean? But I saw uh, on my Facebook memory join and said, "Hey." Memory, I said, yo, look what I found. He's like, yo, I'm like, he was like, this fire. He said, oh, that's fire. Like, yo, what? Maybe we should bring it back. Like, you sure? Like, if you want to bring it back, we can make more definitely do it. Like, yeah, let's run that. Like, <laughs> we'll give another crack. So, as of today, it's it's still 88 radio slash the show about nothing. Where we gonna talk about a whole lot of nothing, but a whole lot of something. But there's gonna be a mix of nothing in our something. So man, Izzy, what's been going on with you, bro? Like, what's what's been <laughs> literally? So what's been going on with you, man? What's really been going? What's, what's really been on? Man, 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 man. Where can I begin? Life is just a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're gonna get. Nope. Never know. Um. <laughs> long story short, um life happened along the way and just things came about started my own podcast during the pandemic I stopped it tried to start it up again didn't work out and it's just been on and off ever since uh went through some heartbreak went through some some trials went through had some mountaintop some mountaintops that i climbed and went through some some really low valleys and you know man it's, it's life is life. Life just got into, you know, just happened to throw throw some things my way. And to be quite frank and honest, bro, like it's all been a it's all been a it's all been a lesson and just like it's all been a, a huge life lesson in learning how to just trust in, you know, not ourself, not not trust in myself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like right. we I'm a man of the faith. I'm I'm a man of the faith. Oh yeah. And you what know, my part? homie T Jones yeah. over here. He, he my man T over here, he man the faith too. So we're gonna just I'm just gonna hit hit it like this, man. This has been one of the moments where like you gotta trust God in everything you do, bro. Like if you don't yeah. trust God, then trying to do things yourself, it ain't gonna pan out. So this this has been one of the biggest uh lessons in just trusting and just not knowing what's gonna happen and just hoping for the best and, and hoping that uh is gonna work out yeah but it's all good bro like uh it, it's all good you know a uh, brand new year starting fresh you know what i'm saying like we we stepping in stepping in on in, in, a, in a whole new direction and 
you know, I feel good about this direction we stepping in, bro. Like we kicking it off with the, the show about nothing. We're getting back to business. You know, we haven't done this in years and eons. So it's time we really, you know, kick it up a notch and really, you know, get back into the swing of things. And something that, you know, on my side, I was talking with with, with Jones about this one with June over here. Uh, I was like, you know, if we do this, maybe that'll kick that. Maybe it'll kick that spark back in me to like get back into the swing of things when it comes to, uh, you know, the whole podcast and YouTube thing. Because like, I really lost my luster all last year. You know, just things happened left and right that just kind of, you know, it, it, it kind of tanked my my passion a bit. But I feel like with this right here, getting back into the swing of things, you know, just two dudes talking a whole lot of nothing, adding a little something in the mix. Who knows where this leads? Oh, yeah, because I told him, like, bro, he said, yeah, we can do it. He said, let's do it. I said, bro, if we do it, you got to – you got if you see this, I'm with you, I'm with to bring it back. Because, like, I like I say, outside of music, we're going to talk about that later, then we're going to get to our topic. I, I'm, like – I'm like I love the podcast stuff, as y'all know. I do the Blur Spy podcast with my folk. But when I'm around, I have I got to do this stuff by myself. It's really I'm not as motivated as I would like to do. Cause I was on the schedule, like I'll do it. I was on the schedule. Okay, so I do a video Monday. I record something. I record a podcast like on a Friday. Edit it, put it up Monday. <clears throat> edit it Friday. Shoot it, edit it Friday. Upload it, put it on a Premiere. Monday and have my stuff lined up, but I'm like, I'd be like, oh. I didn't hit that brick. I've hit the brick wall so many times, like between this and music, it's just like, oh, I don't feel like doing shit. Now, if I could, one of us could like feed off of each other, like, all right, cool, like we recording today, it's Friday, bro. Da 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 da. All right, cool. Is it it'll pull me out the slump or pull him out the slump? All right, let's get this shit going. But moving forward, I mean, like, I, we got that on right there. I mean, I got this on right here. I mean, like, his playoffs. I mean, hey. you know, you know, see, yes, sir. Predicting anything is could this be like? The prediction, like, could this be something? Like, could this like be like for a foreshadow? Is that the one I'm looking for? I mean, could we be like we foreshadowing the Super Bowl? I mean, could we? Is that is that the right term I'm looking for? I mean, like, it could be something. I mean, we know it ain't. I mean, it's it's that, too early. We know it's not. It's the too early right now. It's too early right now. It's too early right now. But. I mean, we got the, well, Mike, got the Michael Vick in the too. back. I see it. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing it. I, I, I wouldn't <laughs> mind. You know what I mean? But to it, I, I, but you know, it can happen. What you think, though? How you feeling about these going to the playoffs right now? What's your thoughts on your side? A man of the AFC. What's your thoughts right now? <laughs> um. So this has been kind of tricky. I'm not going to front. Um, it's been a weird, weird little tricky uh, thing right now because as you see who I'm rocking with, I got the Cincinnati. I, I represent the Cincinnati Bengals, the two-time, two-time AFC North champions. And we are hosting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we are hosting our division rivals, the Baltimore Ravens at home this Sunday, 8-15 and this has been one of them situations where, like, um, it's not. It hasn't. It wasn't a normal year. We had the the unfortunate incident of uh, the Monday Night Football game uh, between Buffalo and Cincinnati, where uh, Buffalo Bill safety Demar Hamlin collapsed on the field uh, with five minutes to go in the first quarter, and uh, ultimately the game was canceled. Uh, both both uh, Buffalo and Cincinnati they did not. It was basically that game got wiped off, so it didn't even count whatever was the score was, whatever the sheets were, didn't even count, didn't even act, it wasn't even like existing at the time. Uh, and you know, 
Buffalo, Kansas City, if they meet in the AFC Championship game, they'll be playing their AFC Championship game in Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta. Um, the Bengals, though, if they meet the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game, they will be going to Kansas City, so they don't get that luxury of playing in a neutral site. But they did have the unfortunate luxury of fighting for their playoff lives. And by fighting for their playoff lives, it was pretty much if they lost to Baltimore, then they would have a coin flip to decide who gets home field advantage, which was totally stupid. But we don't got to worry about that because Cincinnati took care of business at home on week 18. So 8-15 Sunday night, we got Baltimore in Cincinnati at Paycor Stadium. It's going to be rocking. That game is going to be fun to watch. Uh, Buffalo versus Miami, that's going to be a blowout. I think Buffalo is just – they're going to run over Miami. Miami's too hurt offensively, too many injuries. Um, last I heard, Tua Tungavailoa was cleared. He was held back due to concussions. Uh, he was cleared, but he's not going to be playing. Uh, Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson, he is out for this Sunday. He is not playing. Uh, the coach, I think it's like John Harbaugh. He has yet to determine a starter, so don't know who we're looking out for there. Um, Eagles got to buy, Chiefs got to buy. Can't, but I, I, I want to talk about this game right now. Let's talk about this game right here because I think this is going to be the sleeper game of the year, uh, the game of the playoffs this far. The Ravens and Bengals. That's what you saying. You you gonna stand on that hill oh. screen there? No, hold hold I wait. I, I'm not saying Bengals. Okay, so I'm I'm not looking at the Bengals Ravens. I'm not looking at the Bills Dolphins because you know, to me, I would like to see both teams at 100. percent And unfortunately, we don't have that going on. But the game that I do want to highlight right now, Saturday night in Jacksonville. The Los Angeles Chargers take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. I, I this game it might be a fun one to watch. Yeah, I mean, Dougie P, if he could pull off a playoff win with Jacksonville, that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be insane, like yo. Then they move on. I, I can't even call that. I think I think Trevor Lawrence gonna get past, and this Jacksonville gonna get to the get to the get to the get to the round that they need to be in. But who they play is gonna be the question. Can they get past who they gonna play? Whoever they play. Yeah. This is the thing. If they get past, if they get past the the Chargers, if they get past the Chargers, which um, I believe they will, they'll have to go to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. They've played the Chiefs already, and they damn near gave them a run for the money. Like they they played close against them. Like they they've played them. I believe they played them this year. Let me look it up real quick. Why are you because doing, if I'm correct, <clears throat> are you doing? The, I'll say this: if somehow, some way, Jacksonville sneaks into a goddamn Super Bowl, they're gonna be some furniture moving in Jacksonville. People gonna lose their mind. Jack, I don't even think Jacks ever been in the. No, they never been to the Super Bowl. Not long. I don't even the closest even, they got was AFC. The closest they got was the AFC Championship game, and that was against New England, and that was back in 2017. And we know how that ended. <laughs> okay, so I actually found it. I actually found it. It was week one, two, three, four. Like it was week weeks. Hold on, wait. It was one, two. It was let's see, one, two, three, four. What week was this? They were – this was week 10. Yeah. Week 10, Jacksonville versus Kansas City and Kansas City. They only lost by 10. 
right? That ain't bad. 27 to 17. Yeah, 27 to 17. That ain't bad. It's better than uh TCU. Like so I think if Jacksonville gets past LA and they go to Kansas City, I believe they could give them a run for the money. I really believe Jacksonville could do that. Now, it's the question of could they beat Patrick Mahomes and company in Kansas City in playoff time? Because if we all know one thing about cold. Patrick Mahomes and Kansas City. Cold. You forgot the cold. It's going to be cold. Could be in the cold. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's going to be cold. <laughs> it's going to be cold. But here's the thing. When, when it comes to – when it comes to uh, – uh, um, when it comes to, to Patrick Mahomes and, and Kansas City as a whole, we know them for being an electric team. Like, uh, they, they, they come up with so many different place calls and different sets, uh, uh, formations. Like, they utilize every single player that they have on the roster. It doesn't matter who's out there. Travis Kelsey, Kadarius Toney, uh, Juju Smith Schuster is over there. Um, like they happen on all sides of the ball. Uh oh, are you there? Yeah, you lag. You was lagging like a mug. Yeah, you was big lag. Oh boy, it's my wife. Boy, what's going on? Hold on. Hey man, you just wanted a hot spot, my boy. <laughs> I might have to. But yeah, why are you doing that? But yeah, like um. Kansas City ain't no joke, but Kansas City when them teams, I'm terrified of. I don't want to, I don't want I don't want to deal with playoff Patrick Mahomes. Like, I don't want them problems. My boy the froze. You good now? I think, think we're good. I think we're good. I'm using my phone is the hot spot right now. That's what I'm using right now. Cool, cool. You better right, go ahead. Yeah, we good. Okay. <clears throat> so back to what I was saying. Uh, pardon the interruption, people. I didn't mean that. My my internet's a little acting weird right now. L.A., I think it's going to be a fun one to watch. It's going to be a fun one to watch. Uh, Patrick Mahomes and company, they're, they're just a different breed. Um, Are you popping up again, bro? Or is he chopping up again, bro? Damn it. Hold on. This is y'all know this is happening with technology. Y'all, this is the this is technology for you, baby. Technology don't want to technology is want to show his ass. But like I said, Patrick Mahomes, the company that got dang ring around a rosy play they did last week. Some of the passes, Patrick Mahomes. Some of the things Patrick Mahomes does is like it's unthinkable. Some of the stuff this guy does, like how do you come up with the passes, the plays, the catch? I see Patrick Mahomes in the game one time throw the ball and catch it himself. That's I think he can do. I think if Patrick Mahomes threw the ball far, far, far enough and ran fast, he could catch the ball himself. That's how good he is. The funny part is the funny part is though when when that happened, the ball was batted and he caught it. He wasn't just he threw it to himself. He literally he threw it, it got batted, and he caught it. And he was like, Oh. Man's a bad man. He's a bad man. He is a bad man. But you know who's you know wonder who's a better man? This man yeah, right man. here. I got this man right here. That man's He's bad, but bad versus man. Patrick Mahomes. He's man bad too. We're gonna talk about him in a minute. He a bad one, bad man. He has no respect, but he a bad man. He a bad oh, man. Hey, you know what though? You know what though? I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? Let me go ahead and give give my man Jalen Hurts. Give him his flowers right now, ladies and gentlemen. Give him his respect. Jalen Hurts has come into his own. A lot of the talk was can Jalen Hurts. A lot of the talk was can Jalen Hurts, like, um, can he? Can he? Can he? Hold his own with the weapons and everything else that he has going for him. Like, he has a team set up. 
and everybody is, is pretty much there. He just has to make it happen because he hasn't been able to do it as of yet. And boy, did we get shocked until uh, did, did, did Jalen Hurts just came out of nowhere and was like, "Oh yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all thought y'all, y'all, y'all thought y'all knew about me, huh? Watch this. Look here, let me tell you something real quick. Talk about your boy. If you told me as an Eagles fan at the during preseason we would be four. Thir- no, 14 and three. Four, y'all are 14 and three. If you would have told me, I would have said, man, you crazy. I did not think we was going to last that long being on the feet. I'm like, bro. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like in, the, in the most disrespectful thing people do, all the ain't no, they're not that good. They ain't no. Oh, they ain't playing nobody. So everybody ain't so you mean to tell me the 18 we beat are trash. Okay, that that's cute. Like it was a level of now respect. AJ Brown caught three touchdowns against the same goddamn team. He AJ Brown has did whatever he wanted to do against the Steelers. Bruh, AJ Brown. I still don't understand how this happened. The Tennessee Titans traded A.J. Brown to the Eagles. Thank you. A.J. Brown proceeded to go to Tennessee and stomp a mud hole in that booty and then got the GM fired the next day. Look here. The fact they held Derrick Henry to nothing is insane. That was hilarious, bro. Derrick Henry didn't do anything in that game. King who? Not that, excuse me, not that day. <laughs> but back to Eagles, I didn't I didn't see this coming at all, coming at all. Then our quarterback went down and we lost two games. And we we should have won a division early, got it out the way. Bum uh, uh, Garner, Uncle Rico, Minshew, like I'm going to mention that dude that comes to the basketball court with all the gear on, that look cold, but he really trash. Don't, don't, do not this Gardner mention you like that. You know, he lost, like, against the Cowboys. We should have won that game. Like, I feel like what they tried to do was run the same kind of style with Gardner Minshew that they ran with Jalen. It does not work. You can't, there's something different about Jalen Hurts that I can't explain. It's like, it's like- it's like watching Justin Fields in Chicago. And can we talk about it? You really, they really, people really talking about trading two years and y'all want to get rid of them? I don't, okay. Can, no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Not even a full year. Like last year was a half of a year. So this is his first full. He literally like Jalen Hurts. He got to sit behind, play a little bit. But when he played, he got us. To a wild card, but Eagles didn't win. You know, typical, typical. You know, whatever. First, you know, whatever. Then he got. Now he got his legs. He got the legs. He got the weapons. Like how we got AJ Brown is insane. You know, yeah. it's. I like, still don't know how the Titans gave him away, but okay. And then the defense is ridiculous. We got Jordan Davis. Uh, um, uh, Sanu, yeah, say that name three times fast, you. Then we got. What's old boy? Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox. We got Big Play Slay. Darius we got, Slay. We got Maddox. We it's just, we got a defense. The front four is just ridiculous. We got it, – it's a ridiculous defense. Hold on, let, wait, if y'all talking y'all defense. Y'all sweat. With, uh, dude, we got so many – we lead the league in sacks. They was getting tense, damn near seven, eight sacks a game. A game. Y'all like, like who is your I mean, and then uh Jonathan Gannon gonna say, yeah, he would have had more if I didn't drop him back. <laughs> yo, oh my gosh. This eagle, yo, the Eagles might be the craziest team in the in, in, I think if, if the they Eagles, didn't drop him back, he would have had more sacks. 
do, do, do you know what that means? That lets you know, like, if he, it's, it, it come like, yo, it's just too easy, man. Let somebody else get some sex. Let somebody else have some fun. <laughs> Y'all talk about y'all defense. Who do we got on the Bengals? We got D. We got, we got, we got Sam Hubbard, and we got Trey Hendrickson on the sides. We got B.J. Hill, D.J. Reader in the middle. We got Logan Wilson, Jermaine Pratt in the middle. We got Von Bell, Jesse Bates, Dax Hill, Cam Taylor Britt. We got Eli Apple on the corners and on the outside. We damn near got like, we damn near were tied for fourth or like fifth. We were like top ten in takeaways this year. And it's just ridiculous, like, bro. Our run defense is phenomenal. Our run defense is crazy. Pass defense, we can get a little lackadaisical, but you know what though? The one thing I love about the Bengals defense, and I always see this about Bengals fans. We always say like, "Oh, we're a second half team," and I I've always wondered why did they say that. And I see it. I, I get it now. Lou Anarumu, he does this thing where, like, you know how Bill Belichick, when he put coaches the Patriots, like, he'll let a team kind of stay in the game or get ahead or, like, they'll just, like, do something. And then when it come around the second half or whatnot, it's just a total flip of the script. And, like, his defense is just dominating. The offense is now playing up. And, like, they're countering everything that was going on. You know what? I'm glad you said that because I noticed that a lot in college because me and my brother here, we we man, we go to the Ohio State and we watch a lot of their games. I noticed like last year, when there was a when it was like even the year before, before like before Justin Fields left, I noticed when the it's a little spotty on defense when the team like kind of like ain't playing today, like they winning, but it's like eh. But then Second half come, it's like, who are these guys? Yeah, <laughs> like, who are these? They like they turn into like, like they say, don't get water on them, like gremlins. Like they yeah. throw water on them and they turn into like. It. I didn't see that from Ohio State this year. I ain't see a lot of that from this year. But I'm saying going to the NFL, it's like how he says like something happens in the second half, like the adjustments that they make and everything is just like. They they counter it. Matter of fact, um, perfect example when the when the Bengals played the Chiefs last year in Week 17, and then in the AFC Championship game, you saw it both times. Yeah, where the Chiefs got up on them by 11, and then when the, in the second half comes around, you just see them like they press up on Kelsey, they take away Tyreek Hill, they start pressuring a little bit more, they start containing Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. They force him into some mistakes. Same thing in the AFC Championship game. They got the stop before halftime. They're down 11. They do the same exact thing. And it's literally been the same exact thing this entire season where, like, they'll play the first half, make their adjustments. Second half, they just start clicking. And you start seeing the takeaways happen. You start seeing the people, you know, maneuver and everything else in between. It's just like, yo, where did this team come from? Is this this like – It's one of the things like, you like, oh, good, I'm sorry. No, 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 you good, you good. It's, 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 it's interesting to watch and see these guys go after it, but I'm just like, bro, like, this team is different. I mean, look, <laughs> I, I got to talk about, I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk myself real quick. Um, talk, so a lot of people, I got, a lot of people thought the Bengals last year. A, a lot on, of people, wait, let me get this off real quick. I did not think. In all my years, I would see a Bengals team in a Super Bowl, let alone almost win this said Super Bowl. Hell, Kansas City. I, Kansas City is one of them teams like, oh, they ain't never going to win no Super Bowl. You know what I mean? It's like, hell, if I'm a gambling man, I got my money on the Bills going. To the Super Bowl and winning it this year. I'm an Eagles fan. If I if my Eagles make it, <clears throat> which I hope they do, mm. I'm gonna be so like look at the Bills to the Super Bowl four times 
and lost all four times. Bengals, I, Bengals went three and lost all three. So it's like, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I don't see him going back for a fifth time and losing for a fifth. That's just like, I got to say, Eagles. Especially with what happened to DeMar Hamlin and whatnot, you know they're going to be turned on a whole new level. They're going to be on a whole nother. They like, like, that, 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 I don't know if he's going to ever, is he going to, is he ever going to be able to play again? Or is it, or is, or is he done? Here's the situation. Okay. So, like, when someone suffers cardiac arrest like that, it takes you a while to recover, especially with the situation he was in. They were, I'm not saying he's coming back for the game. I'm gonna say like next. No, season. no, no, no. I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But just let's put it in perspective, real quick. Just, let's, let's put it in perspective. They spent nine minutes administering CPR to him on the field. They resuscitated him. He was in critical condition. And the one thing they were thinking of, the one thing that they were worried about was, is he going to be neurologically intact? Because you have to understand, after a certain point, after like a certain amount of time, and things like after four minutes, once you don't get oxygen to your brain, that's when things start getting, they get redlined. Like you got to like find a way to get oxygen to the brain. If not, then it's going to be serious. Right. This man was being resuscitated, was, was getting CPR administered to him for like nine minutes. And thank God it's it thank God it worked. They were able to resuscitate him and they were able to uh get him back. Right. Everybody was wondering, like, is he gonna be neurologically intact? By Wednesday, by Wednesday or Thursday, I think it was like Wednesday, that's when we started seeing like the 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 positive signs. Like, I think it was Wednesday going into Thursday. We got the report that he woke up. That he was uh, grab, he was gripping on the hands, and he was able to move his hands, move his feet, and he was able to like start, you know, like uh, 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 communicating via text or whatever. And um, he when he was actually able to start speaking a little bit later on, like around Thursday, mid like mid to late Thursday, Friday is when he started talking again. So like neurologically, he is good to go like he's back in buffalo right now so the fact that he is back in buffalo with his family out of the hospital within a week is a miracle of itself prayer yep. works let's yes, go ahead does. prayer works because it does because i tell you right now there were a lot of people praying like I, like i was on a um I was on a Twitter live, like a, a Twitter's community chat after everything had happened with the Bills Bengals game. And um, the attitude was somber. Like a lot of people were just like talking about like, yo man, this is the scariest situation I've ever seen. Like, I don't really care for this. Like, bro, if they were like, look, I don't care for the, the number one seed no more. If you want to give it to somebody, give it to Kansas city. Like, I don't really care. The like serious part about that whole thing. Huh? Is when you're watching TV, I was like, please don't, please don't come on this TV and tell me that we, I was like, don't, don't, don't say that. Oh, you know, you know, everybody like, everybody was like, like and I'm not a Buffalo fan. I'm like, I'm like, I was like, yo, man, please, please, please. Like, I was like, bro. I was watching the game, dude. I was watching the game. And I don't don't watch, I don't, I don't really, and who were they playing? Them? The bang. I don't really watch, I don't really watch Bengals. Uh, uh, um, uh, Buffalo games anyway. I'm like, let me watch this game because they were talking about this is gonna be a big game. Like, All right, let me. It was, was supposed to be the game of the year. This was gonna be the game of the year. Yeah, when I saw him get hit, I'm like, okay. Then he stood up and fell back. I'm like, I was like, All right, maybe he just you know dizzy or something. You know, keep like, All right. Then he just laid. I'm like, what's going on? Like then everybody rushed the field. I'm like. What's going on? They're like, yo. Then everybody got quiet. Then the ambulance came on. Like, I'm still like, what happened? Like, I right, cause they showed the head again. Like, cause they said it was a, it was a, like, it was a normal play. It was a football move. It was a, it was a bang bang play. It was like he went in, tried to tackle T Higgins, got him on the ground. When he got up, he collapsed. And I didn't stick. I and like. 
Then like my cousin who's EMS, she does that. She's like, if we ever doing something that long, something is it's it's bad. Like it's it's really bad. Like she said, if it's ever that long, yeah, it ain't good. I'm like, then when he went to the house, I'm like, when they I'm like, please, I'm like, I'm like, every time they come on TV, like, don't tell me we lost him. No, please, 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 please. I don't want to hear that. I'm like, I'm like, then I'm like, then when they say he's at the hospital that he's doing fine, I'm like, all right, he's fine, but I didn't I wasn't gonna be good until they said like he's he's responsive and all that. And then when they say he's showing signs of being good, all right, cool, cool. Then, I mean, the warm moment of when he came to it, like he wrote, like, who won? Did we win? It was like, <laughs> that I was the like, first thing he said when he woke up. Did we win? That's like you see stuff like that in movies when somebody get knocked out and wake up. Did we win? You know, I mean, that's something you see in movies like, yeah, he didn't die. Like, yeah, you won. The game of life, yes, won, yes, you did win. Like life, like I don't think he knew it. I, I bet he didn't even know what realized what had happened. You want to hear a funny story? What about Demar Hamlin? What about him? So when the Bills played the Patriots, right? Right. He was still in U. He was still at a uh, UC. He was still in a uh, UC Medical. He was sitting down watching the game. Right. When he saw Naheem Hines, uh, Naheem Hines take that kickoff return for a touchdown, right? First, this uh, the opening kickoff, right? He jumped out of his seat and set off all the alarms and had the staff going into a panic. <laughs> Come on, we can't do that to them people. Yeah, but like, it, so so talking about talking about the more Hamlin. Um, like I was watching the game because, like you said, this was the game of the year. Had if Buffalo won this game, they would be tied for the number one seed, and also, as a matter of fact, they would take the number one seed from Kansas City because they had the tiebreaker over Kansas City because they beat them. Yep. The Bengals, had they beat the Bills, then they would have been up for the number one seed if they beat Baltimore the next week. They would have won the AFC North. You know. Like they, they were gonna like solidify themselves as the top team in the AFC. Yeah. Um, and like you said, like Naheem Hines, I'm not uh not Demar Hamlin makes a tackle on T. Higgins, you see him collapse. Now, with me, I'm not only watching the game, I'm following on Twitter the reactions with for everybody, and like the reactions were like ex- were excited. I know what you're gonna talk about. We ain't gonna talk about that. Huh? We're not gonna talk about that. One. I know you're talking about reaction. We ain't gonna talk about that one though. No, 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 no. Just let's just no. I'm talking about like because the thing is, you said you didn't know what was going on. No, like and I saw it, but I didn't process what was going on till they said like I didn't know how bad he was hurt. I just thought it like you know how Tua got concussed. He stood up and he he, he like stumbled to a little bit. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's that. I'm like, okay, somebody they are gonna get him on the side, but I didn't know that was the thing. You know, See, Tua got to get his balance because he was like, is you know, he was cussed like. You know, anybody that make a cuss knows, like, or even bump their head, like, yeah, I got to sit down for a little bit. You know what I mean? I thought it was like that because two have been cussed, like, three, four times. Three. So it's like, I'm thinking that. I'm not thinking the worst. Because when he stood up and sat back down, I I didn't think of it. Like, right. Like, then I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, because we've never seen anything like that in football. Right. Never seen that, so it's like. Then when they said what happened, I'm like, like, I was like, I like, how did that even happen? Like, I've never, I've never cut like that. You know what I mean? I've never seen anything like that. But go ahead. What was that? Phone ringing. My dude was calling. But go ahead. <laughs> All right. But no, like, so, like I said, I'm I'm watching the game and I'm following along on Twitter. And I'm following along on Twitter because like I'm trying to find out what just happened. And like I follow a lot of like Cincinnati. He, does. Outlets. he, I, yes, he follows. I follow a lot of the outlets and whatnot. Like I'm really in depth. I'm trying to get as in depth as as I can when it comes to the sports stuff and whatever. And I'm seeing a lot of people saying, "Yo, like Nahi, like they're saying like Demar 
is, is having CPR administered to him. Uh, he's not getting up. They're bringing the ambulance in. People that were at the stadium are posting about it. And, like, it was a scary situation all around. Like, like as I'm watching real time and as I'm following real time, the more and more that all this information is, is coming out, the more and more that I'm, like, my heart is sinking. And, like, I can remember after uh, after – everything that happened, I had tried to get up because from watching the game, I tried to get up from sitting down and I couldn't even get up. Like well, as soon as I got up, I sat down and I started shaking immediately because I was terrified at like what I just saw. I was like, Oh my God, did we just see somebody die? Yeah. He, like, me, he texted me, but we were texting back and forth during the game. Like, like me, I'm like, I, I, I'm like, I play it cool as much as possible. Cause I'm like, when panic set, Somebody got to be the calm. Even if I'm scared out of my mind, I'm going to try to play it as cool as possible because two people can't be panicking at the same time because there's some bad things happen. So I'm like, right. Because I'm like, because I didn't know what's going on. I was hoping, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in bed like, yo, I'm sitting back like, um, you know, I'm sitting in bed like, I'm sitting in bed like, yo, man, I hope he didn't lose this, brother. Like like I said, I don't follow the bill. I don't know none of the players, but I'm a compassionate person. I'm like, yo, I hope this man is okay. Because I heard he's a, he's a rookie, right? No, second year. Second year, and everybody's talking about his uh, what's going to happen if this happened. Like, let's just – let's just, just – just, like – Let's just make sure this man is okay first. Then we can worry about all the, his yeah. But like I said, it was like this your second year, like man. And everybody was buying his jerseys. His GoFundMe went hit a million. Like people was really Seven mil. What's up? His his GoFundMe. I, matter of fact, I can go look it up right now because I have it posted on my page. But the GoFundMe, someone found his GoFundMe, um, and they posted it. And it went wild. As of right now, on a goal, the original goal for his Chasing M's, the Chasing M's Foundation Community Toy Drive. He started this when he was in college. The original goal was 2500 As of right now, $8,875,000. has been raised. And I wonder if he processed that. I wonder if he like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when people rally behind you like that at a time like this, like, wow. Like, y'all really, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all really care about me like that? You know what I mean? Like, when somebody does some, when, not saying I don't, like, I don't know the man. And um, you know how when somebody does something nice for you out of nowhere, like, for me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody like, yo. You at you at lunch and somebody paid for your food for you. I don't know why I got it for you. You don't even know I'm like for me, like, yeah, I'm I mean it's, it's whatever I got you, don't worry about it. It's like for me, but this is like on a whole nother level. Like for my organization, like and like he said he started back in college. Yeah, I'm even thinking like, um, I'm just gonna try to raise this money, you know what I mean. You know, I made it like, you know, if I get there, I get there. If I don't, whatever. You know, you know what I'm saying? What is probably and not only that, not, not only is he doing this, not only is he doing this, but what he's doing is also is that he has a t-shirt. He has a t-shirt on his chasing M's uh page, his his merch page, where it has a shirt that says, Did uh did we win? And it has his hands, you know, doing the heart sign or whatever. Right. Proceeds of those shirts. Is going to be going, is going to be going towards UC Medical to help uh, with the with the cardiac arrest research and whatnot too. So he's going to be pouring into uh, the the hospital that helped him out. Hey so, man, so he's like, it's just all around. It's awesome to hear like what's going on, you know, in the aftermath of everything. Like he's he's back at home in Buffalo. He's recovering well, and it's just it's it's it's, it's all it's all it's, it's it's nothing but a good. A happy, very, very happy, miraculous 
uh, ending to what was a scary situation on Monday. Yes. But, but, the, but, the, but, you know, now we're in the playoffs and it's just like, I really believe Buffalo is going to take what happened and they're going to run with it. And they're just going to, they got so much motivation to run with now. It's going to be, they're going to be one of the teams that you want to watch out for. Like they're, they're going to, yeah, they're, that's, they're like, one of the that's, that, that's, that, that's what everybody should be scared of in the, in the NFL right now. Like, yo, you playing against a team that's like, yo, we win. Like we doing this now. Like, it's like, it's like, we got something to play. You playing against a team that like, yo, we got something to play for. We got, we got our boy back home. We brought, we went like, it's like, oh, you like, whatever bit of, if you ain't scared of nothing, yeah, you better be scared of the bitter. Like, ah, oh, like the yo. bills are gonna be. Look, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. If if the Bills and Bengals meet in the rematch, if they if they meet in the second round, as much as I want my Bengals to win, we're playing in Buffalo. Uh, that's gonna be a tough one. Because, like you said, that this is going to be a game where they're they're playing for a lot more than just a, a trip to the Super Bowl. They're playing motivated because their boy Demar Hamlin is going to be in the house, and you know he's recovering from all of this. There, there's going to be so much on the line, so and much energy, so much energy, and this is and this is going to be the first time they've they've seen each other since that night, that Monday night game, right? So, it's gonna be one of them nights where it's just like the energy is gonna be through the through the freaking roof. Oh yeah. Um, and, and um, switching on to the A to the NFC. Let's talk about your let's talk about your boys, the Eagles, man. Y'all got the one seed. Like this is what. Okay, so I got a question for you as an Eagles fan. Okay. I've been there's there's a couple of Eagles fans that at my job and I asked them if there's is there any one team that you're looking at that could give you that that you think could give you a problem come playoff time or like really give you issues. And I've heard one team, just one. Who is it? The 49ers. Yeah, I can see that. I could I could see that. So as a as a Eagles fan, I want to ask you. How confident are you in your team to going all the way in the Super Bowl? Ew. Now you have a juggernaut of the 49ers possibly staring right at you. I got to tell you this. As an Eagles fan, I know the 49ers coming to Philly. And I'm not worried because it's going to be cold. And they're going to probably be relying on a run game. And if Jordan Davis is on that field, Fletcher Cox on that field, and Dominican Sue. Those big boys, well, you saw what we did to Derrick Henry. That so, was nice. So, run game ain't no problem. And if we get Maddox back in time for that, we should be solid. We got a good run. We got a good running back room with Miles Sanders, Kenneth Gangwell, Trey Sherman, we got a solid running back. I'm not too in AJ Brown, Jesus, Smitty, Dallas Goddard. Like we 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 I right. and we got Quez Watkins. We okay. Then Mr. Legs himself, Jalen Hurts. It's like I'm not too worried. But the issue is. I mean, like, looking at it, I think the Niners is going to do some damage. I think the Niners may – it may be Eagles-Niners in the, AL, in, a, in the NFC Championship game. Yeah. Like I said, I'm looking at – I'm looking at everything at the list right now. I don't know what time Brady's showing up Monday. I don't know which Brady popping up, and I don't know – who gonna show up, Daniel Jones or Kirk Cousins? I don't know who. I don't know because like, like somebody said, the, that game could come to like a uh, come down to a uh, interception. Because when it comes to this uh, Tampa versus Dallas game, 
Dak is going to throw at least two or three interceptions. This I man. Don't, I, don't, I don't want to ever hear anybody say that. I don't want to hear Cowboys fans say this is our year because we already know how the, how it plays out. Dude, I literally seen a dude. Cowboy fans are delusional. Yeah. Delusion now. It's okay to be like your team, like, but you, when your quarterback has eleven leads, it's tied for the league in interceptions. Tied. I would be scared going into this game because he gonna get a he gonna get at least one or two and one. He gonna get a few, and I think Psycho Tom is gonna put up to this party. I mean, like, I don't know. Like I said, even if the Cowboys do, and it, people really think the Eagles gonna Cowboys gonna play the Eagles in the in the first round. If I'm not mistaken, they will play who again if they get past them. Who? They will, the Cowboys, they will either play the – because we play the lowest seed, so either, yeah. so either they're going to be playing the Niners or – so you mean you want the Niners at Dallas? I, like I said, then again, I don't know what Brock Purdy going to do. Like, I really don't know. He's doing good right now. Ain't nothing pretty about this dude. This dude is playing like a freaking madman. It's like, I really don't know. But like I said, I think we, we may be foreshadowing. We don't know. We don't know. But. Yeah, but before we switch gear to talk music and whatnot, other life stuff. TCU versus Georgia, man. TCU versus Georgia. All you got was seven points, bro. This game, I'm I'm just happy for the sake of this and because of what happened. I'll say their name, Michigan. They beat Michigan. I'm the fact. Then again, they said Ohio State got robbed. That was a targeting play that happened to Marvin Harris. They didn't come. Dude, this is like this is what you. This is the Clemson game all over again. Where it was a bad call, nobody called it, and we got robbed. But we went back the next year during the, and it is what it is. We didn't win that game, fine. But everybody like yo, Michigan should have been. Michigan would have got washed too. Mm -hmm. Michigan, probably Michigan, Michigan would have got dog stomped, bro. Like, let's keep it a buck. The only game. That was worth watching that entire time. Besides seeing TCU go off the way that they did, was Ohio State versus Georgia. That was the most competitive game that entire playoff weekend. Yeah. I said it the day after the Georgia TCU championship game. I said the real game was Ohio State Georgia, and I had people looking at me like I was crazy, and I was like, "Look." TCU was not able to to compete with what Georgia had. Ohio State competed, kept it close, and literally was a shanked field goal away from going to the national championship game. Yep, and I feel like this, and 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 I feel like this personally. If if it was TC, if it was Ohio State versus TCU, it probably would have been worse. It probably would have been, it probably would have been 80. Ohio State versus TCU? Yeah, it probably would have been worse. Oh, yeah. Because Georgia, they never let up. They, right. 
you're, you're not going to play? It just kept getting worse and Bruh, worse. You, know, you want to know how bad it was for me? How bad? I saw TCU go three and out in their first possession, and then I saw Georgia go 58 yards in five plays. As soon as I saw Stetson Bennett running in for the touchdown, the first score, I turned the game off because I was like, ah, this game going to get ugly quick. Dude, I was watching the game, waiting for them to say, we're going to switch to a more competitive game. That's where I was at in life. I'm like, yo, they, <laughs> they're going to they're gonna flex it for something else. I'm waiting for the flex. Like, bro, like, they, they, you can't keep this game on. Then I said on Twitter, like, yo, if in the second half, I said, yo, if Georgia lets TCU come back and win this game, they suck. Like, if you let them – and they never like they it's like playing a game of 21 and you never get the ball back. It's like you would never get the ball back. Like it's just like playing make it take it. You never get the ball back. Yeah. Like you get in with the same move. Like, bro, this you can't defend like everything. It just keeps like they keep dropping back and just same move, same move. Like, bro, it's, it's it was insane. All right. Now they saying is Georgia the new powerhouse. Yeah, pump it breaks. Mm. Georgia's got to go at least one more year. They got to, like, at least have a three-peat or, like, have one of those runs where, like, they go back a third year and, like, they lose or, like, they have one of those those type of runs. That They, they yeah. got to have that. And then in the disrespect for Ohio State, I'm not going to stand for it. That's why I'm sitting down. They ain't going to, like, they said – I seen on ASPN say, oh, uh, Ohio State is not the bullies of the, uh, of the Big Ten no more. Like hell we are. Don't ever sorry. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. You said what? Ohio yeah, State who? They said Ohio State is no longer the bully at the end of the Big Ten of the Big Ten. Where that damn message is. I still got it. I never swipe. I never looked spread it. I mean, I ain't got it, but still, hey, beside the point. ESPN oh, really be big. Okay, it says, uh, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, he got he got the receipt. Okay, Ohio State. The college football, the CFB coaches' prediction: Ohio State is no longer the bully of the Big Ten. Who? Who's the who's the bully then? Who? <laughs> Mr. Abernathy, explain to me who who is the bully of the Big Ten. I know who ain't. I know yeah. who ain't. Look, look, uh, look. Uh, is is it because we is it because Michigan got, got Michigan won two times in the last 12, 13 years? Here's the thing. Michigan acting like they did something. Somebody whooped your behind for how many years? Like nine, ten hey, years. Bro, like 10, you 11 years. Two. The you stats mean- ain't that great. How is that even a thing? And here's the fun part. John Harbaugh, uh, Jim Harbaugh, the coach at Michigan, he may not be the coach at Michigan no more. He might be swinging back to the NFL if all reports are reporting right. Look, I could I couldn't care less what he does. I just need our win back. I just need that. I need them golden. I need I need the golden pants, then my chain. That's the thing. Like, I wish I could get a pair of those. Like, but they don't. You gotta play. I'm like, I'm a, when I when I when I make my first sale, my first gold record. I'm a I'm a call up CJ uh, Jackson or uh, one of them boys. Like, Yo, you got an extra pair of them gold pants laying around, bro. I'm gonna need. I'm a big fan, bro. Can I? <laughs> you gotta hit up JT Bear. Like, you got four pair, man. Let me get. Let me get. Let me get one of them things, bro. <laughs> Dude, but nah. But yo, man, June's World Two is almost done, bro. My boy, can we? Okay, let's talk about June's World Two. Okay, first and foremost, first, first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, this is an impromptu uh, interview brought to you by your boy Izzy Fantasmo, and we here have the one, <laughs> only June's eighty eight in the building. Me, 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 me. me, 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 me Maybach music. <laughs> But June, hey, June's 88. I got to ask you the question, bro. June's I'm World good. 2. June's World 2. Like two. Oh, no, don't 
How are we feeling right now? Yo, let me tell you, it's a roller coaster because, like, here, 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 here's the, here's the kicker. When I got the Spaceman track back, I listened to it. I liked it. Then I would listen to all the songs in concession, like, because I sent the outro out like first. And I know people are like, why you sent? Because I went back and listened to the intro. I wasn't confident in the intro. Like, Let me go back and listen to it again. I'm like, all right, cool. I like it. So I got the, uh, excuse me, I got the outro back. Right. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. Yo, okay. Because when I recorded it, I'm like, I is heard it a little bit of it. But when I got that joint back, I'm like, okay. It's like, it's like, it's balance, then it's this track. Like how I got the last three songs let set up is like boom, boom, boom. It's like, oh, that's what you did. That's how you ended this project. That that's 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 the kind of life you about right now. Yes, yeah, so I tell I told people like yo, the way I end this project, I'm just gonna pick up with that same energy on whatever project I do next. So it's like the energy. Off of those last three songs are going to is gonna bleed into the next project. Like I'm I'm like whoo. I can't wait to get this joint done. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this to the people. This man right here has been sending me little snippets here and there. He's been giving me little tidbits and little little samples of what he's got cooking. When I tell you this man has been in the lab, he's been working. And he's been building his craft up and he's been getting himself ready for this release. This man right there, he, he's been cooking. And I've known this, I've known him for years since he first started making music. Your first project was what? 2016? June's World? Yep. 2016? 2016, started in 2016, released it in 2017. Yeah. June's World was his first, his first one. Yep. This I, I I've been following him and I've been, you know, running with him throughout his whole music stand, you know, making music left and right. And, you know, I, I dabble in and I help him out with little things here and there. I won't get into it, you know, but I do, you know, I do kind of help off on the side, get him situated and you know seeing him grow and seeing him be the the artist that he is, it's amazing to to to, to, to be a part of being a witness. Um so from me. To you, when you listen to June's World 2, Chef's Kiss. Like no. I tell people, you gotta go back and listen. I'm telling you too, man. Go back and listen to the first June's World. You gotta you got Spotify Apple Music. Go back and listen to the listen to that joint. And when you listen to this, you're gonna like, yo, this. And I challenge everybody, go before we get out and ch I challenge everybody, go listen to all my projects on uh, uh, Apple. Just listen to all that just to get ready for this. I tell you, it's gonna be a different, it's gonna be a different vibe because I felt like I dropped the little nuggets in the 88th Avenue and 88th Tape. Uh, I dropped little nuggets, and even on this, there's like it's a build up. Like, oh, I see where he's going. It's like more of that, more of that, more whatever that is more of that yes so send us out easy what, what we at what we doing man show about man. another we back what's good where we at man we, where we at where we at we 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 back in the building that's where we at we we for show back we can count on you bro we ain't gonna let you i ain't gonna let you i ain't gonna let you fall off bro Hey, look, bro. You're not the only one that ain't gonna let me fall off, bro. Like my, 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 my people they let me fall off on some, on, on some, uh, on some. Uh, uh, now nah, I don't want to call them resolutions, but goals that I've achieved that I've plotted out for this year. You know what I'm saying? 2023 is is a year. Is is a is a big year. It's gonna be a big year, and I want to end it out. I want to end it with a little with a little ode. To a classic, to a very, to a classic, if you don't mind. If you, if you don't mind, give me. Are you doing what I think you're going to do? No, you'll you, you probably, you know. Come see me. I'm about that. 
Big trust. Woo woo. <laughs> NBA NFL front run MVP. <laughs> But yes, this is the year of big trust. Trust. Big, trust. big trust equals big levels. And that's what we're going to be on. Like I said, you can catch us out. We, 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 we recorded this on a Friday. On Friday, these going to be up on Mondays. Uh, a lot of stuff. So yeah, man, we're going we gonna, to... We gonna, we gonna, the goal is to keep this going all for the rest of the year. We're going to do this. We're going to you know, keep doing this. We're going to crank these out. And, yeah, man, make sure you like us to turn tune in everything we got going on. Uh, and, yeah, all our, all our links are going to be in the description. And, like always, thank you for tuning in. And we are oh, out. Yeah. Boom.